In this section, we're going to look at associations in SpaceClaim. So I'm going to click on our Associations folder, and open up Mirror, Shell, and Offset. Now in SpaceClaim, you can make associations on your model that live there and are intelligent, such as Mirror, Shell, and Offset. Now to start, we want to mirror this handle to the other side of our part. So if I click the mirror button in the top right hand corner of the screen, we can go through our status messages to see what to do. First, we'll select a mirror plane. This can be an inserted plane, or it can be a planar face. So just to show you, I'm going to click this planar face. Next, our tool guide goes to select a body. Select a body to be mirrored. If I hover over either body, Notice it shows that it's being mirrored across that face. But I actually want to mirror this handle to the other side of our part. So I'm going to click the Escape key to escape out of that. And instead, I'm going to place a plane through the center of our part. Now if we press F1 on plane, we'll see there's a bunch of different ways to place a plane into our part. And the one I use a lot is two parallel planar faces. It's going to place a plane in that bisects them. So I'm going to exit from our help, and I'm going to do just that. I'll select our face on one side, hold down the control key, and roll through the model to get that second face. Now I can click that face, and place a plane between them. Notice our plane is now bisecting those two faces. Now I can mirror our handle to the other side. And I'll start by clicking the mirror button, select the mirror plane, which will be our plane here, and then select the body to be mirrored. Again, I'm going to select our green handle and mirror that to the other side. You'll notice a second body has been generated, and there's a mirror plane generated on that solid. Now what this means is that if I use pull, I'll be able to pull a face on one side and have it also be affected on the other side. You'll notice that the face that's being pulled is highlighted in a darker color on the other model. If I pull a face on the second model, it changes the first one. I can pull that to make that larger or smaller. Now if I want to stop this mirror association, notice the plane in the middle. I can turn that off by toggling that button, or I can select the entire plane, and then click the delete key. That will delete that plane entirely, meaning I could click a face on one side, pull it to change the size, fill it to remove it, or even round some edges. Now there's one other way we can establish a mirror relationship. I'm going to delete this plane so we can see the model a little bit better. Let's say I already have a model and I want to establish a single mirror relationship between two faces. If I click on the mirror tool, you'll notice our third set of tool guides lets me do this. Let's me set up a mirror relationship. I'm going to click on the first face and I need to click on a face on the other side of the model. And it has to be the identical face. Now another thing with this is that you do not have to hold the control key. Just click the second face, and a mirror relationship will be established between these two faces. If I'd like to create another one, I'll click in white space, click on a face on one side, and then click on a face on the other side. You'll notice I have to click on the same face. I can't click on this one to establish a mirror relationship. I would need to click on the identical face on the other side. Now if I were to edit one of the faces, I'm going to click Move to do this. Click the face, edit it, and it edits on both sides. Whether I rotate that face, or I click on that round, and move it to a new location. You notice both get changed at the same time. 
please take the time to establish the mirror relationship between the faces I've just shown and also mirror the handle to the other side. Next, we're going to look at offset. If I click pull and I click on this face, you'll notice only that face gets pulled. I can pull it up or I can pull it down. I'm going to escape out of it. I may want to establish an offset relationship, however, and maintain the distance between the two faces. So to do that, I can click offset. This also comes in handy when creating ribs. I'll click on our first face, and then click on the second face. You'll notice that I can't select on any other face that's not an offset. So no other faces are selectable except the offset face beneath it. The offset is indicated in a darker blue color, and if I were to pull on this face again, it can, keeps that constant thickness. I'm going to escape out of this, and I'm going to undo before I created this offset. I can do that with Control Z, or I can come to the Quick Access Toolbar and undo. Because there's one option I like to show people with offset, and that's Find All the Same Offset. If I click this, it'll find all of the same offsets on this model. Click on one face, click on the offset, and notice it finds the other two faces, because those have the same thickness. Now if I click pull, I can pull on any of these faces, and that offset thickness remains. Now let's look at how we can remove this offset or even toggle the thickness. If we select on these faces, I've double-clicked it to select the chain, you notice a mini toolbar comes up. This displays the thickness that's there. Let's just change it from 25 to 20. Or we can change the location of the offset, put it to this face, the other face, or in the center. You'll notice that this is also located in the Properties panel in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And if we want to remove the offset, I'm going to click this face and change it to None. Now if I click Pull and I pull on one of the faces, the offset is not kept. So please take the time to put the offset in change a few of the faces, change the thickness, and then remove the offset. The last thing we'll show you is Shell. Shell is a simple tool that lets you remove a face from your model. Let's remove the bottom face. And when I remove that bottom face by clicking it, it's going to apply a 1 millimeter thickness to all of the other faces. And I can click any additional faces to also remove them. If I change our number from 1 to 3 or 5, all of the faces get thickened at the same time. Once I click Select, then I'm out of that tool. And notice that all of our faces are a darker blue color. This is because they all have that offset relationship. You'll notice if I click Pull, and I double-click on a round, it creates a round and automatically keeps that offset relationship. So it rounds on the inside and the outside. Now let's look at ways that we can edit or remove this association. Remember, if I click on a face, it finds that thickness and lets me change it, or lets me remove that offset. However, I might need to do this to all the faces at the same time. So to do that, we can go back to our selection panel that we looked at earlier. Our selection panel lets you select on a face, 
and find all faces with the same offset. So all offset baseline faces. Now that we have them all selected, we could change the thickness after the fact. We could change that to 3, change it to 7, or go back and remove that offset. Now none of our faces will abide by that offset relationship. So in this lesson, I hope you've seen how you can mirror solids, establish a mirror relationship between faces, place offset relationships in, and also shell a model to make it a constant thickness.